Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give another example on Taylor series method to solve the given initial value problem. See the statement of the given problem. Apply Taylor series method to solve dy by dx is equal to log of xy to the base e for y of 1.1 and y of 1.2 given that y of 1 is equal to 2. This is called initial condition. Okay, this is the given first order differential equation. First of all, we have to find out the solution of this differential equation at the given initial condition. After that, we have to find out y of 1.1. It means that y value at x is equal to 1.1 and y value at x is equal to 1.2. Okay, this is the statement of the given problem. Please see the solution. So, first of all, write the given initial value problem in the starting. Given initial value problem is dy by dx is equal to log of xy to the base e, comma initial condition is y of 1 is equal to 2 this can be written as y dash is equal to log x to the base e plus log y to the base e because given problem is in the form of log of mn which is log m plus log n comma x naught is equal to 1 and y naught is equal to 2 by comparing the given initial condition with the general initial condition which is y at x naught is equal to y naught so inside value is x naught outside value is functioning value y naught okay now we know that the Taylor series method the Taylor series method is y of x is equal to y naught plus x minus x naught whole power 1 by 1 factorial into y naught dash plus x minus x naught whole square by 2 factorial into y naught double dash plus x minus x naught whole cube by 3 factorial into y naught triple dash plus so on. So you can take this initial value problem as 1 and the Taylor series as equation number 2. So it is enough to find out the unknown derivatives which are involved in this formula like y naught dash, y naught double dash, y naught triple dash etc. Okay. From the given problem, already we have y dash is equal to log x to the base e plus log y to the base e. From this, what is the expression of y naught dash? Whenever we have the variable, you should write suffix 0 for that variable, which is log x naught plus log y naught. So that is equal to, what is x naught value? 1, log 1. Log 1 to the base e is 0. So 0 plus log of y naught y naught is 2 so log 2 to the base e this is the value of y naught dash so two terms are completed in the expansion first term is y naught which is provided as 2 and another one is y naught dash okay y naught dash becomes a log 2 to the base e now take another derivative with respect to x now by taking the derivative with respect to x you will get second derivative because already first derivative is there here if you take another derivative for y dash it becomes y double dash and derivative for log x to the base e is 1 by x and derivative for log y is 1 by y and don't forget to write the derivative of y with respect to x now which is y dash so what is its expression y naught double dash is equal to 1 by x naught plus 1 by y naught into y naught dash so replace the values y naught double dash is equal to what is x naught 1 1 by 1 is simply 1 1 by y naught so you will get 1 by 2 because y naught is 2 and y naught dash just recently we got this value in the previous step which is log 2 to the base e so please highlight this value with your box this is y naught double dash okay now we have to find out another derivative by taking derivative of this term with respect to x you will get y triple dash which is equal to see carefully so derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square and uh, we have to apply uv rule the De derivative of uv rule for the second term okay because two terms are in product derivative of 1 by y is minus 1 by y square into y dash but already y dash is there in the product so y dash into y dash y dash whole square plus now 1 by y is the similar term in the uv rule derivative of y dash is y double dash okay. 
Now write the expression for this one. So y naught triple dash is equal to minus 1 by x naught square minus 1 by y naught square into y naught dash whole square plus 1 by y naught into y naught double dash. Replace the values. x naught is 1, y naught is 2. So minus 1, this is minus 1 and uh, minus 1 by 2 square is nothing but minus 1 by 4. y naught dash is, see this step, y naught dash is log 2 to the base e log 2 to the base e whole square plus 1 by 2 into we have to write the value of y naught double dash which is here 1 plus 1 by 2 into log 2 to the base e ok split the terms minus 1 minus 1 by 4 into log 2 to the base e whole square plus 1 by 2 into 1 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, 1 by 4 into log 2 to the base e. So that is equal to, it becomes, what is minus 1 plus 1 by 2? It is minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 4 log 2 to the base e whole square plus simply we have 1 by 4 log 2 to the base e which is the last term and so on. Similarly, we can find out the higher order derivatives like a y fourth derivative, fifth derivative, it is not necessary. At least you have to find out three uh, three derivatives in Taylor series method. Okay, so substitute these all values in the Taylor series method, Taylor series formula. You will get required solution of one. So equation number two implies y of x is equal to y naught, which is provided as two. See here, plus x minus x naught. X naught is one. So x minus one by one factorial is simply one into y naught dash what is y naught dash log 2 to the base e plus x minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into y naught double dash which is 1 plus 1 by 2 into log 2 to the base e plus x minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into y naught triple dash which is this one please write carefully which is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 into log 2 to the base e whole square plus 1 by 4 into log 2 to the base e close the bracket plus so on this is the solution of the given initial value problem using Taylor series method now we have to find out y of 1.1 and y of 1.2 so first of all put x is equal to 1.1 in above so you will get y of 1.1 now see y of 1.1 is equal to 2 plus whenever we have x replace it by 1.1 so second part becomes 1.1 minus 1 which is 0 0.1 into log 2 to the base e plus this term becomes 0 0.1 whole square by 2 factorial means only 2 1 plus half into log 2 to the base e plus 1.1 minus 1 which is 0 0.1 whole cube by 6 into minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 into log 2 to the base e whole square okay plus last term is 1 by 4 into log 2 to the base e okay it is not necessary to replace the value of x is equal to 1.1 in the next terms okay the terms in the so on are almost equal to zero okay so you don't worry about the higher terms now we have to calculate this entire value by using scientific calculator c first term is 2 2 plus bracket open 0 0.1 into log 2 to the base e nothing but ln 2 okay plus take this symbol 0 0.1 whole square in the denominator we have 2 and in the product we have 1 plus of log 2 to the base e so bracket open 1 plus of can be written as 0 0.5 into log 2 which is ln 2 to the base e ok plus 0 0.1 whole cube 0.1 whole cube by 6 and we have to 
operate to the center value now see carefully bracket open minus 1 by 2 can be written as minus 0 0.5 minus 1 by 4 can be written as 0.25 into ln 2 whole square is there don't forget it okay minus 0.25 ln 2 whole square is completed plus 1 over 4 is again can be written as 0.25 into ln 2 close the bracket okay is equal to this is the required value which is 2.0759 right in the bracket approximately if we correct this one for three decimal places it would be 2.0 since fourth decimal place is 9 which is greater 5 that's why it becomes 2.076 okay in this similar way if we replace x is equal to 1.2 in this solution you will get the 1.2 value okay uh, you can easily get that value by using scientific calculator so please do yourself and comment that answer in chat box okay thank you very much in the next session i will give another example on taylor series method thank you